CAT 2021 slot 2 question number 14 in a football tournament a player has played a certain number of matches and 10 more matches are to be played if he scores a total of one goal in the next 10 matches his overall average will be 0.5 goals per match on the other hand if he scores a total of two goals in the next 10 matches his overall average will be 0.2 goals per match the number of matches he has played is now we can solve this question with two different approaches the basic approach and the deviation approach let us look at the basic approach first so he has played a certain number of matches and let's say he has scored a certain number of goals x is the matches y is the number of goals with 10 more matches if he scores only one goal, that is, if he scores y plus one goals in all, then his overall average is 0 0.15 goals per match. And in the next 10 matches, if he scores two goals, that is, instead of y, he scores y plus two goals, his overall average will be 0 0.2 goals. So, very simple equation. We have y plus one upon x plus 10 is 0 0.15 from this equation we can simplify this and we'll get y plus 1 is equal to 0 0.15 x plus 1.5 this is your equation 1 and from the second equation I get y plus 2 upon x plus 10 as 0 0.2 which means y plus 2 is equal to 0 0.2x plus 2. This is your equation 2. On subtracting equation 1 from 2, you will get 0 0.5 is equal to 0 0.05x, which means x is equal to 10 matches. So, the number of matches he's played is equal to 10. Now, what can be an alternate approach? An alternate approach is recognizing that in the next 10 matches, if he scores one goal extra from y plus 1, he goes to y plus 2. So, he scores one goal extra and average over the entire x plus 10 matches increases by 0 0.2 minus 0 0.15, that is 0 0.05. And let's say the total number of matches now is n. So, on the n matches, his average increases by 0 0.05 just because one more goal has been scored. So, n is 1 upon 0 0.05 and that is equal to 20 matches in all. But 20 include the last 10 matches. So, the initial number of matches is 10. Now, this is a far superior approach to solving the two equations. But for this, you have to understand the concept of deviation very well.